Here's another example uh, that I'm using with this Project X template and with this example is displaying uh, advanced parameters. Uh, with advanced parameters you can use uh, different formulas uh, to kind of control uh, what's happening with the model. And with this advanced parameter I'm showing the, uh, the brick seal. Uh, it's not in the right location. I kind of just dropped it in there for this uh, exercise. I could easily just align that the brick course. But uh, what I'm showing here is that I have a, a brick seal that does not have a specified angle uh, to, for water runoff. So with an advanced parameter, you know, different brick seals have different angles. You know, have different uh, settings to them. And as the as the uh, model changes over time, as the architect specifies different types of seal, whether it's brick or it's concrete or it's switched to some different type of seal, uh, it can change. <clears throat> And when that change happens, you know, back in the AutoCAD days, you would have to go back to the block, modify the block, and then reload the block, make sure that the insertion point was the same. You know, you have to go through all these hoops and hurdles. Uh, but now with advanced parameters that have uh, special formulas built into them, it's just as easy as just clicking into the box and, and making that change. So I could easily just hit the button, button here and just type in the angle you know I can even change the size of the actual seal if I wanted to but when I click the button here it, this is going to change you know so that I have a slope now it, it put a, a two a two percent slope onto the um, on the brick seal so this is some of the things you could do with advanced parameters once you start learning how to build parameters put formulas in there make it do these little custom tricks and you know this can happen globally you know you can do different types of seals around the building and do different angles on them so it's a lot you can do with rivet now versus years ago you know it would took me 20 minutes to upload this upload a new uh, seal for this project and now that the seal is in and it's the way I want it I can easily create the detail for it you know it's correct in the wall section um, you know if this is a custom fabricated seal you know it could be sent out for manufacturing or, or whatnot uh, fairly easy. So now I can just dimension it. I can dimension the angle. If I'm not satisfied with the angle, I can change it, and the dimension will change globally. So these are a lot of things that you can do with Rivet now. You know, dealing with all these different aspects of Rivet. I know a lot of people probably seeing uh, some of the things I'm doing with Rivet. It's like, wow, it's like there's so much you can do now. You can calculate energy, you can do facility management, uh, you can do asset management, you can do this, you can do that. It's like, how do you grasp it all? How do you wrap it all into one piece? And that's just that just comes from experience of you know working on, on projects over and over and over again. You kind of you kind of you know, different projects over and over again. It's like you have all these different things that you can do now, and now it's time you have to apply it. So in this case, I was working on a project where I had these brick seals, you know, that were changing, and I was like, oh, I'm getting tired of keep reloading it. And once you start reloading it, you get errors, and they want to delete things, and stuff want to disappear on you in Rivet. So it's best to create parameters so that way you know the object can stay nested inside of a wall you don't have to take it out and put it back in and you can do all your changes you know right from Excel file if you wanted to I mean I can send I can send this out to Excel give it to an engineer and he can change the numbers himself and bring it back to me and then my model will update so this is kind of what you want to look forward to when you're using Rivet and this also is going to speed you up and it's going to save you a lot of money but it's just about the know-how